What's going on guys? Sam Man back with another NECA Predators figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Series 16 Predator figures. Now I picked this up from Nora. A lot of you guys are familiar with her. Make sure you guys go over there and check her booth out. She has these figures. Plus she's got tons of other new stuff. The, Chevy, the new Chevy Chase um, Christmas Vacation figures. Uh, next week she's going to have the 18 inch Jungle Predator uh, NECA figure and of course NECA and uh, she's got a bunch of other stuff restocks on the Home Alones the, uh, the Keaton Batman So yeah, so just make sure you check her out. Let her know that I sent you. All right, so we got the new series right here on the left we have um, We have Ghost Predator. I <laughs> lost track of, of thought there We got in the middle spike tail predator and on the far right one of my favorites. We have stalker predator so we're gonna do like Negan and we're gonna choose which one we're gonna get. So any, mini, no we're not. We're gonna go with the glow in the dark one because I am a sucker for glow in the dark figures. We're going for the stalker predator. So I do have the Kenner version of this. So you guys will see a comparison once I review that one because I haven't opened it just yet. So we have the um, really cool artwork right here and this is glow in the dark ultimate predator hunter. So this is a uh, stalker predator. We come to the back, there is a little bit of a read up, so feel free and uh, pause. You get the art artwork right there, and then you have all the predators right there in the back. This spike tail one looks awesome. I also have the Kenner version of them, but that's it for the packaging. Let's crack this guy open and take a look at stalker predator. guys so let's look at all the accessories that the soccer predator comes with because he actually comes with a lot of cool stuff so um he comes with two of his little like the staffs now i don't know if these ones are supposed to be kind of extended look at this the hands pop off on this on the figure so just be aware of that so you have two of these that um are not extended so you can see the cool little detailing on these i'll get as close as i can just be careful with these, especially when you take them out of package because NECA's, you know, their, especially their accessories are known for breaking. So you get these ones right here. You also get a longer one there, so you can see that. You can see the designs are pretty much the same. So you can see the differences in them right here. So that is pretty cool. You get the launcher right here, which you just um, peg into his lower right leg. And you also get an interchangeable hand with just kind of, kind of like a straight hand, I guess and it's uh, translucent, it does glow in the dark. Then we have his helmet right here, or his bio mask. This is very cool, I love this. You can see the eyes are gonna be glowing in the dark and the little like horns right here are gonna glow in the dark, but look at the um, the coloring on there and the sculpt. I love the brown and like the, like the kind of like brownish gold almost. And then here's the um, inside part of it, you can actually see through the eyes because it is translucent. But the, um, the mask is awesome and I love the fact that we can place these on the figures. So that is all for the accessories. So here we have the Predator and um, the uh, line launcher like I was telling you about, or the, the net launcher, it, where it's, you just peg this in, you can see the hole is on the right lower leg, so you just pop that in right there, and you can display him like that. So the Predator looks just amazing. Look at the head sculpt. Even the eyes on this one are gonna glow. I love how like the mandibles and the teeth are all glow in the dark. You can see all the, I mean obviously all the stuff that's like green is gonna be glowing in the dark. I mean they had the dreads and everything, and then you know little parts of the, um, the head and then he's got some little horns right here they're gonna glow in the dark too but look at that face sculpt man oh it's sick i love it i love the armor he has right here too see the the cool little details on here the the cables and stuff and you got like a, a xenomorph right there in the front that is sick i love it he's got these uh the spike shoulder pads which is just a soft rubber material and he's got this one on this side over here he's got a few more spikes and then he's got a different kind of um plasma uh, plasma cannon, which I actually like. I prefer it if they were glued on rather than, you know, them coming. Yeah, I prefer this one a lot more because it's actually glued on. The other ones fall off easily. So I'm happy that this is, you know, the way it is. And again, the colors on this look great. I just love the Xenomorph right here in the front. Uh, you have the little gauntlets right here. As you can see the cool little detailing on them. And then the little spikes right here are a soft rubber material. Look at that though. So cool, man. See all that? Nice. Love it. And I, I don't really like how the hands are. You can see how the peg is. You can you can see the peg there, but they pop off very, very easy. I don't know if, if it can go in deeper. Probably not, because the other one's the same way right here. Um, and then you have his uh, loincloth right there. 
which is soft rubber material. You can see a little bit of like the netting material there. And then you got the spikes like on the sides. That's so dope. See that? And then these are soft, uh, soft rubber material too. And then here's the back side of the loincloth, the back of the upper armor. And you have the lower leg right here, armor right here. And then you have the skulls. How dope is that? Pretty sure those are supposed to be human skulls. And then the feet. It's also got spikes on the ends there. Very cool, he does have peg holes at the bottom. And then pretty much the skin, you can still see the netting on the Predator, but obviously it's all just green. Um, uh, it's just all painted green, so you can, you know, obviously glow in the dark. And then for the, uh, the mask to put on, you can just slide it on just like that, and that's how he looks with the mask on. So he looks great, he holds on to his weapons just fine. Just a beautiful figure. Now as far as the articulation goes on him, the uh, head can rotate, it goes up and down, let me get this off, can rotate the head, it goes up and down, the arms go in and out, forward and back, upper arm rotation, he's got double jointed, see how the hand keeps on popping off, it's one thing I just don't like about it, he's got double jointed elbows, lower arm rotation, the hand can rotate and go up and down, he's got waist rotation, um, slight ab crunch, legs go in and out, forward and back, upper leg rotation, to uh, double jointed knees, Nothing in the lower leg, but the foot can rotate and go up and down. You can kind of tilt it. So that's the articulation for him. Right here, glowing in the dark. Hopefully the camera will pick it up. Uh, the mask is down here, but the Predator himself lights up pretty good. So I don't know if the camera will pick it up like fully, but he does light up good in person. So you don't have to worry about that. So it looks great. Hey guys, there's my review. Today we were taking a look at the NECA Predator Series 16. Stalker Predator. This is an awesome one, guys. This is going to go great with the glow-in-the-dark alien xenomorph that they gave us uh, from NECA as well. So I'm going to put those side by side, take a few pictures of them, and post them on Instagram. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. So if you guys want to pick this up, head over to Nora's booth at Frankenstein's, or just click in the link in the description at BigBadToyStore.com so you can pre-order these. Let me know what you guys think about this figure. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Support my channel. See you later. Peace.